Warner Brothers isn't going to give us numbers, so we, we do it ourselves. What's happening, my film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right, let's talk some more Zack Snyder's Justice League numbers. Even though it's kind of funny because, I mean, here we are. We're almost, what, two months? Pretty much like uh, we're getting to that uh, two-month mark of of uh, when Zack Snyder's Justice League showed up on HBO Max. And, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, we, we keep on hearing interviews from Zack, even Debbie, talking about how they haven't even seen the numbers. Nothing, uh, nothing. <laughs> it just seems like uh, Warner Brothers has really got a stranglehold. I mean, they're keeping those numbers under wrap. I mean, we're kind of hoping that, you know, the AT&T hierarchy would be, hey, yeah, talk about those numbers and let's talk about continuing this this uh, this uh, Snyderverse that everybody keeps talking about. We all know that it's very popular. We all know there's been numerous articles, Samba TV, been all kinds of stuff. You're hearing about Brazil breaking uh, records with rentals. You're hearing HBO Europe. All you know, you just keep hearing it. Even like um, on Film Junkie Live on Wednesday, I mentioned there was like a uh, I showed a tweet that said in the UK uh, three three weeks in a row consecutively that it was the best top of the chart. It's always been uh, pretty much uh, we, 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 we pretty much know that this movie is widely successful. But when it comes to China, it kind of, you know, it got released late. And a lot of people were going, wow, China, what, what's going on with the, the China numbers? Because, well, that's a that's a huge market. If not, I mean, one of the things that the movie industry really always tries to do, especially with these huge movies, these IP movies or temple movies, they, they definitely want the, the Chinese market. I mean, it's obviously in the population, you know, regardless of how you feel about some of the stuff that's happening over there politically, it's still, it's a big, huge market. And of course, uh, China, I think, what was it, a couple of weeks ago, they finally got it. And uh, I mean, basically, just going by, um, just going by the website of uh, MagooVideo.com. Um, a lot of people are kind of talking about that, and I just kind of wanted to break it down a little bit because, yeah, these numbers are pretty damn stellar if you look at it right here. Uh, I'm going to bring up the, uh, the the page right here that uh, translated in English. So, you know, Justice League, Zatch, Schneider. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's translating. 9.6, that's pretty good. But as you can see right here, if you keep on uh, – well, first off, it says like this because you can't, yeah, do the copyright. But look right here, guys. 350 million plays. What? 350 million? Holy crap. Now, this is very interesting because um, me and an associate of mine were trying to uh, break it down. Because you try to translate, because even if you do use Google Translate, there's some weird things. It even says like, oh, yeah, if you translate certain part of it, it says a billion. Uh, but then, of course, you do it all together. And then the way that, you know, the numerical system works over there, it is kind of interesting. But it's but for the most part, what we pretty much came to the conclusion is, is uh, this fucking movie is huge. OK, and it's huge over there. Three hundred fifty million. Wow. Endgame, Infinity War blew it out of the water streaming. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, I mean, we obviously got to look at the, the we got to look at the, those numbers, too, of the fact that, you know, what over 600 million, I think, something like that. When it comes to Avengers Endgame, uh, what was the exact? Um, I think there was like a, there was actual. What was the exact number? We kind of pulled it up. Um, but you know, I mean, obviously, we're talking about ticket prices. Everything got released over there when it came to Infinity War. When it came to Endgame, obviously, that hit theaters. And when it came to Zack Snyder's Justice League, it was strictly streaming. But yeah, you're talking about like 629 million plus. When it came to uh, what Endgame grossed at the box office over there, and that's that's pretty damn huge. Obviously, that's a big chunk of the worldwide box office. Uh, and Zack Snyder's Justice League didn't have that luxury, but when it comes to streaming, it's blowing Avengers: Infinity War and Endgame out of the water. So, I mean, you can make your comparisons, yeah. And I'm sure, like, maybe you know, Endgame probably still comes out on top if you like incorporate, of course, the. Uh, the, the box office, the ticket sales, and how many tickets were actually sold. Yeah, you could do that. But I'm just kind of just like mentioning that just even with just streaming right now, especially the way things are with, you know, a little pandemic thing that's happening, little thing that's happening in the world, 
when it comes to uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, hey, guess what? The Chinese market is all about it, okay? And God knows, I mean, when it comes to the way things work over there, I mean, I know, like, the government really has a stranglehold on the internet. So, I mean, I'm, I'm what we kind of determined, too, was, like, this, uh, I mean, this service right here, the, um, what's it called again? <laughs> the, the Migu, the Migu uh, video. Dot com seems to be like that's a pretty common that that like pretty much everybody uses that for uh streaming and stuff and i know they have a string hole a little bit on the uh on the internet over there too but that's besides the point we don't have to talk about that i'm just we're just saying that 350 million i mean that's stellar that's crazy 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 numbers i mean you want to talk about you know the numbers over here with hbo max which you know after what almost a month it was like 337.9 million or something reviewed that was just hbo max i mean i don't know if we're ever going to get to the point where we actually get the full-on somebody goes all right here's the full-on 100 numbers right here hopefully somebody actually does do that but i mean i don't know if warner brothers is ever going to release these numbers and they don't have to i mean they really don't have to they're the they don't want to continue the Snyderverse, so why even release those numbers? They're just like, hey, cool. Yeah. Looks like we did. Uh, we got we got we got a nice little uh, incline when it came to stuff. But then they were releasing that along, of course, with Godzilla vs Kong and then Mortal Kombat. So there's like so many like little factors that they'll just use it to kind of like, you know, be like, yeah, yeah, but it was mainly it wasn't just because of uh, Snyder. You know, we got the, the other money. Blah, blah, fuck off. You know, you know what they like to do. They like to play those little tricks and spin it like that but i just thought i'd do a video because you know i mean we've been watching these numbers when it comes to this particular you know streaming service and the fact that it says three three 350 million plays i mean that's just that sounds pretty insane but um i mean regardless of like whether you know you, you know it needs to be tweaked with the views of like how exactly it all works over there. The fact of the matter is you compare that to, you know, other big movies too. Like, like I said, Avengers Endgame, Infinity War, it's big, you know, the streaming a lot more, but at the same time, like I said, it's not totally going, Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at that. It did better because yeah, we still have box office with those. Get that. I'm trying to, you know, you know, I'm not sure saying that it like completely like blew, blew um, Avengers out of the water. It just kind of just shows you though, that people were craving something, new and something different over there and uh we all know that zach is you know huge about you know the chinese people he wants he wanted to set up the atom for them strictly to take place in china with the chinese chinese actors you know chinese cast and everything um we all we know like the situation when it comes to all that so it's just nice to know that they were totally taking it in over there i mean big time big time i mean i i, I mean the population i mean i know the population is huge you know obviously it's over like billion i forgot exactly what the population is there somebody might spin it like yeah well there's a population of this many billion and only made 350 that's pretty low i could see certain publications spinning it like that of course but fact of the matter is there's the number right there currently and you guys keep keep an eye on it, you know like i said it's uh mongovideo.com and uh, that's pretty much uh, what's been going on over there when it comes to that. It's just been interesting to see it climb up because at first it was like 260, 280, and now it's at 350. I mean, it's a lot of plays, man. It's a lot of plays. So just more numbers that, of course, will be ignored by uh, you know, Warner Brothers. Sadly. But uh, it's nice to see. It's really nice to see. I mean, no matter what happens. And then, you know, when it comes to new numbers, the new numbers I want to see are the Netflix Army of the Dead numbers because that could also slightly push the needle too, if you think about it. I go, you know, Warner Brothers goes, wait a minute. We're really going to let this guy go? I mean, he's like the hot commodity right now, all over the place, including that big, huge market of China. So I don't know. We'll see what happens, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about um, what do you think about these numbers? And hit that like thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm doing this stuff. Hit the join button so you can uh, become a member. Doing a lot of uh, behind post shows and behind the scenes videos when it comes to the members exclusive uh, member videos and even live streams. I'm going to start doing now and then. Of course, uh, or you want to join the Patreon and get early access to things I'm working on and uh, vodka stream guests and all that. And then of course uh, the film junkie closet down below. All right, guys. Talk to you later.